spread out all over the country. We're uh, here in Chicago. Together, spend some time together after not seeing each other for a while. I'll be able to spend a few days just taking our time and being creative. Uh, okay. Spread out all over the country. We're uh, here in Chicago. We'll be able to get together, spend some time together after not seeing each other for a while. I'll be able to spend a few days just taking our time and being creative. Is there a difference between graffiti and a mural? when the style of art is the same. In a survey completed earlier this year, the Bulldog found fewer than 20 examples of criminal damage done to buildings on Main Streets in Graf Ravenswood by graffiti. Some brought more graffiti to more of the neighborhood. However, the city has worked hard to clean graffiti. Alderman Dick Mell, a Democrat from Irving Park, was among the key sponsors of ordinances aimed at reducing graffiti and remains an opponent of graffiti. Alderman Eugene Schulter, a Democrat of North Center, was a key sponsor of other ordinances aimed at beautifying the city. And again, the Ravenswood area is relatively free of gangs. This all contributes to a community that is not harassed by graffiti and tags. If the idea that a broke window on a street contributes to the impression the street and neighborhood are in decay, the aggressive stance of political leaders and the ward supers is keeping the area free of what everyone admits is a property crime. Earlier this year, the Bulldog caught up with a group of mural artists working on the Artiston Stone Works mural at 3628 Northwestern Avenue. The group of young adults were repainting the south wall facing the Wendy's parking lot. For understandable reasons, they asked that they not be named in the story. The wall is repainted about once a month until the weather makes that impossible. They made the point that there are key differences between their work and tagging done by individuals and gangs. There are examples of such destruction in the video. A key difference is that the owner of Artist and Stoneworks has encouraged the use of the wall for these artists. The artist we talked to said that the presence of this wall has sharply reduced overall graffiti in the Ravenswood area because people who want to do graffiti art have a place to do it. They asked the community to make other walls available for similar projects. Is it art? Is it destruction? Should the community encourage murals like Artisan's Stoneworks? Thank you. 